It's hard to believe that 9-11 was 18 years ago. Seems like just yesterday. The memories are still pretty fresh. Although I was only nine years old at the time. When 9-11 happened, I was in school and for whatever reason, the teachers chose not to tell us. And it must not have just been, it wasn't just my teacher, it must have been all teachers must have agreed not to tell us because if it was just my teacher, it seems like the other kids and the other classes would have been talking about the attacks during lunch and recess. So for whatever reason, all the teachers must have agreed not to tell us. So I didn't know nothing about it until I got home from school that day. Um, so I didn't witness it on TV, but I do remember where I was when I did find out about it. We were, I was, we lived with my grandmother back then. My mother and me and my sister, we all lived with my grandmother. And... <clears throat> We were sitting outside, because it was a nice September day, and they were all talking about it, and my cousin Beth was there, and everybody was talking about it, and my sister um, had printed out pictures of it from when she was at school. She got online and printed out all these pictures, and I was looking at them, and then... You know, of course, like I said, they were all talking about it. And then on TV, you saw the videos being repeatedly shown over and over and over again. And like I said, I was only nine years old, but I still remember that. Um, 9-11 for me was kind of like... A loss of innocence, I guess you would say. Because I remember me before 9-11 thinking, because I grew up with stories of World War II and Vietnam, and of course, those are all things that happened before I was born. So I thought, you know, I was nine years old, so... And all, all that happened before I was born. So I thought, like, war was a thing of the past. It didn't happen anymore. That was over. That was history. Just war didn't happen anymore. And the 9-11 happened. And it was like, oh, war still happens. Bad things like that still happens. That still goes on. That's still part of who we are. It's not a thing of the past, and it totally changed the way I saw the world. Like, we weren't as safe as I thought we were, as we were, and I think that's why it always stuck with me, because it's like it showed me, it's like it showed me reality, I guess, um... Before that point, I had never heard of terrorism. I had never heard of Al-Qaeda. I had never heard of Bin Laden. Um, and then, you know, suddenly it's all thrown at you. And it was a lot to take in.